Ibans explain. Welcome back everyone so happy to have you back in today's video this is a follow-up to the video i did on how you can purchase i savings bonds government low risk bonds with your 2022 tax refund that video will be pinned in the comment section all right so make sure you check it out we are going to answer all of your questions or some of your questions what is the current interest rate how long you have to keep those i bonds how they determine the interest rate is it taxable and much much more make sure you're watching till the very very end and this information is being shared from treasurydirect.gov and that is where you can also purchase I bonds all right we are starting with what is an I bond it is a savings bond that earns interest based on a combination of a fixed rate and an inflation rate what interest will you earn right now on your i bond the composite rate for i bonds issued from may 20 2022 through october 20 2022 is currently 9.62 percent this rate applies for the first six months you own your i bond all right now how do i bonds earn interest and i bond earns interest monthly from the first day of the month it is issued the interest accrue until the bond reaches 30 years or you cash the bond whichever come first we need to enter uh interject right here that you must keep the bond for at least 12 months you can cash the bond after 12 months however if you cash the bond before it reaches five years old you lose the last three months of interest all right you can use the uh calculator on the treasurydirect.gov website to figure out how much that interest would be all right and that is if you use the treasury direct or the savings bond uh, savings bonds calculator on the website the interest is compounded semi-annually every six months from the bonds issued date interest the bond earned in the six previous months is added to the bond's principal value creating a new principal value interest is then earned on the new principal how does the treasury figure the i bond interest rate it is the combination of the fixed rate and the inflation rate all right the fixed rate uh the fixed rate of interest that you will get on your bond when you purchase it that rate never changes the treasury announce the fixed rate for i bonds every six months on the first business day in may and on the first business day in november the fixed rate then applies to all i bonds issued during the next six months the fixed rate is an annual rate now moving on to the inflation rate all right the inflation rate can and usually does change every six months all right the inflation rate uh is issued also on the first business day of may and on the first business day of november based on changes in the non-seasonally adjusted consumer price index for all auburn consumers the cpi dash u for all items including food and energy that's based on inflation inflation is currently at an all-time high and this is why we currently have the 9.62 interest rate however the change is applied to your i bond every six months from the bonds issue date the dates for those changes may not happen exactly on may 1st or november 1st all right now combining the two interest rate to get the actual 
rate of interest, they will combine the fixed rate and the inflation rate using the equation listed here. The combined rate will never be less than zero. However, the combined rate can be lower than the fixed rate if the inflation rate is the negative. Uh, for example, if they have deflation and not inflation, it can offset some of the fixed rate. If the inflation rate is so negative that it will pull down the combined rate below zero, they would not let that happen. It will stop at zero. Now here is an example uh, of the, uh, comp how the composite rate for I bonds is issued, all right? You have the fixed rate, which is 0%, the semi-annual inflation rate, which is 4.81%. Then you have the calculation, which brings you to the bottom composite rate of 9.6%. Two. Now, when does your I bond change interest? Based on this calendar, you can see the issued month for your bond, the new uh, rates when they will take effect. For example, in January, if you buy your uh, I bond in January, the new interest rate will take effect January 1st and July 1st. And it goes all the way down to December. Now, is I bonds taxable? There's no state or local income taxes on I bonds. Uh, here is a recap. The initial interest rate right now is 9.62%. I bonds can be purchased through October 2022 at that current rate. That rate is applied to the six months after the purchase is made. For example, if you buy an I-bond July 1st, 2022, the 9.62% would be applied through January 1st, 2023. Interest is compounded again semi-annually. Remember, you can only purchase up to 10,000 in an I-bond each month calendar year but if you purchase with your income tax refund you can purchase an additional five thousand in i bonds with your income tax refund giving you a total of fifteen thousand you can purchase per year if you buy i bonds exceeding that limit they will send you a refund and it says that it can take up to sixteen uh, 16 weeks. Again, you can find all of this information and you can buy I bonds on the treasury direct.gov website or using your 2022 tax refund. Make sure you check out the video pinned in the comment section. All right. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe.